folks, it's great to see you. I feel like it's been like snap of a finger. We were talking last year with the show debuting, and now look what's happening, season two. Congratulations. How does it feel being back here knowing, you know, the show has really connected with fans uh, and the fact that, yes, we have a season two? <laughs> amazing, amazing. I mean, anytime you get to come back to work and do... A character that you love is always rewarding, and you get a good crew that you can hang out with. It's it's lovely. Yeah, we're. I mean, I'm I'm so grateful to the fans that they <laughs> that they. I mean, I loved the show, yeah. um, but it's nice to see that it's resonated so much with so many people around the world. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And you two, there is definitely chemistry. What is it like on camera and off camera with the both of you? What chemistry? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, as soon as you turn this off, turn this off. Like, it's like. <laughs> Get him away from me. <laughs> no, I love this girl. It's been, I've known her a long time now. And, you know, so it's, it's great to work with someone that you you know and, you know, love and respect. And I mean, it's just, you know, it's well, a fun day. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. And it's great when you go there, you can be, you know, have someone you can, you know, lean on and talk to about anything and anything. Yeah. And so it's great. Okay, well, we got to get into what season two is going to be all about. But one of the first things I got to get into the haircut. Yes. We cut the hair. When did this happen? For what? Uh, first episode of last season. I don't even remember that happening. Because uh, you know what? I'm so used to when the picture that we took, you had long hair, though. Oh, because you added that hair extension when you No. Like, yeah. yeah. You the long hair. No, no, you had that, exa- that thing added to, to um, what's your name, did your hair last for this meeting? No, that was just year. bangs. Oh, it, just, it looked it was just bangs? It was just bangs. Yeah, yeah. My just hair was like this the whole Oh, my season. goodness. It looked like it was long from the... Ba- oh, my, oh my goodness. The way she did, but yeah, she had, they had that little out... She did it styles no, you. it was literally a clip from here to here I gotta because my bang was cut too short. Yeah, I have to look at it again. It's all bangs. first season, my hair short. Oh, my goodness. I have to look yeah. at it again because when I looked at... Because uh, I was, of course, looking back at my stuff, my picture, and everything, I'm going... Long hair? Yeah, no, well, she cut the hair. off my face. Well, it's also the fact that I'm not... I don't have my bangs forwards because... There's glue in my hair. From a, <laughs> I'm shooting another project right now, and I had to get on a flight from Vancouver here, and we didn't have time to get all the glue out of my hair for the wig. So I have, I have glue head right no, now. No, no, no. She just styled it up for you. She wanted to give you a different look. It's a good she, glue head. This no. is why I love him, because he's making it nice. And this is the magic between the both of you. He's on my back. He's there on my back go. and my front. He <laughs> helps me out. What are we looking at with season two? Because it looks like there's some more serious stories, more with uh, your character's family. Things are going on here. Yeah, well, I found out that my father has been lying to me my entire life about, uh, you know, how my sister died. And obviously there's understanding there because you'd want to protect your child um, from, you know, from harm um but what happens when one of your daughters harms the other daughter you know and and it's a it's a tough question and i think at some point you know he initially did it to to protect me but at some point he started doing it to protect himself um and so that's sort of the theme of this of this uh, season with my father and i is at what point did you start doing this for you and and you needed to tell me because finding out in this way and especially now when you have dementia I can't even be angry at you and so there's a lot of anger and frustration and sadness inside of Jenny and it's coming up on a lot of fronts Um, and so I think sort of the theme for this season is suppression you see her now working with the truth that she knows and suppressing everything that's coming up around it and just trying to pretend that she's okay you know one of the things I'm I I really I think is important is the fact that you know how we say that you know Characters can be flawed. Families can be flawed. But those flaws are reality. And people dealing, for example, with dementia. There are a lot of people out there right now that are dealing with that. I want to get your thoughts on taking that approach now in the storyline. No, no, it's, it's amazing. And, and, you know, touching on what she was saying, is like if you've told a lie for so long, in a sense, but you've done it for the right reasons, you know, that's, a, that's the old Buddhist thing. Now, if I unburden myself and tell you the truth and cause you greater harm, am I doing you the favor or am, I, or am I doing myself the favor by unburdening myself? Or is it a greater sacrifice to carry that burden to the grave? And does that burden also maybe help trigger some of that dementia in uh, dealing with things? So there's a lot of things that people can watch and say, you know, if you don't deal with things in an appropriate way, it will manifest in other ways and come out. And so, you know, for the character, I mean, that's mm-hmm. a amazing it's journey to watch and of manifestations yeah 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 and so all of that it's 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 great and it's it's good to it, uh, 
that that's just once they heart know what he was saying mm -hmm. that search for the truth how much how badly do you really want to find the truth oh <laughs> Oh man, that you realize that just put this whole season into that rabbit hole. Just being able to say that though. How do you think your character's been changing from season one to season two? Even though with these family problems, with her herself though, how do you think she's growing um as a person and uh at a, at her job? I think for her job she's becoming a lot more confident in what she's doing. She's definitely getting I mean, the, the everyday sort of um, procedural stuff she gets, you know, that's easy for her. Um, what's not necessarily easy for her is figuring out how to put that into uh, her her personal life, I guess. I'm trying not to give away too many spoilers, but at the same time, I want to no, no, communicate. Go right ahead. Um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Only here. Uh, so I think this season... Um, we start off with a lot of suppression for her, as I said. So it's uh, her learning was like, I learned what happened and that should be good enough. And I'm taking my drugs and I'm going to therapy. But if I get too close to the truth, I freak out. And so I dive into somebody else's truth. And that's sort of the MO for her is that as long as I'm finding the truth, most likely for someone else rather than herself, um, then she's okay. But each season it sort of metastasizes in an odd way. So the first time she started having this psychotic break and she started hallucinating the dog. The second season you start to see it come up more with sleepwalking. So her unconscious is trying to bring forward another piece of this trauma, another yeah, piece of this truth. Trying to suppress yeah. something that it will manifest. And it will itself. manifest. So yeah. this is sort of the, the theme for her this season that I that I worked a lot with our creators on and how to be able to, to, to not just go, well, once you learn the truth, you're fine. It's not that. It's a huge journey from there to being the able to. Yeah. yeah. And and a lot of the things is like, you know, I wanted to really play into the the anger and the frustration and the sadness that you get around a, losing a parent, whether or not they've passed away. Dementia is a really tough thing to deal with. And a lot of people don't talk about the frustration that comes with it and the anger that comes with it. And the and the 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 way that it changes your life as a human, like Gordon moves into the house this season, you know, that is a huge thing coming into your home and having your father there. And so there's a lot of new things in her life that are happening. And, um, she's not doing too much learning as yeah. opposed to just sort of surviving. And, and so it's a, it's an interesting survival season and, and Mac really kind of notices it with her. Although he's got his own he's stuff got his, going got on. His I was own stuff see, going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mac's got his own issues because, you know, he's been so much more, He's he had his life so compartmentalized and in order and he just had his way of doing things and he figures things out. He comes in, he's in charge, he's cool. But, and then several things happen like this person comes along and all of a sudden it's like messes up everything and makes it all messy and yeah. good. I mean, you're like just leave it how it is we've good we've written off we've signed off on cases we've done things we've, we're good we know how we blah 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 and the truth is there but it's okay as long as we get it done at the end of the day it's like no it's about the truth and you know which is so, so ironic that I'm the, the biggest liar yeah. going on I'm just like I'm fine I'm fine everything's fine it's not fine but it's easy to take your others right to deflect from of yourself course. as you said and so that's that's what's amazing and He's done that as well in his personal life, in a total, the total opposite side. In so, instead of getting, you know, he's he's shut down more, yeah. and he's a little bit more, you know, calculated, if you will, and that's the way he's dealt with things. But now in this season, you'll see him maybe not be so calculated because someone comes into his life that totally throws him for, uh, yeah, shakes things up and throws him for a loop, and all of a sudden Max not so in charge anymore and all of a sudden he's like wait a second no i'm 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 still mac i'm still the guy and yeah so it's it's gonna be an interesting season i cannot wait for this i cannot wait for this folks i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for this interview i cannot wait for season two this sounds like as i mentioned the rabbit hole yeah this is gonna be a deep rabbit hole <laughs> oh, folks whatever. thank you again at the bottom <laughs>